What's up, door dog? What's happening? How's everybody doing? What's going on, everybody? How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Um, you know. We gonna go around and have everybody introduce themselves after people. Okay. Still waiting for a couple of people to come in. Let me know when you're ready. strong, economically stable black people. And if we stick together, we never have to ask anyone for anything ever. All we have to do is cop together in anything that we do. So having a brother like do it all in a position of that kind of power, knowing exactly what he's gonna do, because we know him as a friend and a brother, we know that he's gonna fight for other than just himself, that he keeps his money in the community and that in the brick city that he really owns bricks. He really has buildings. He really puts his money where his mouth is, pause. So it would be better for one of us to be over there helping us out. But for one of us to have to ask them for money and we got it, it doesn't make sense. So if collectively there's a hundred of us or 50 of us and we all got it, 500, 1,000, 200 collectively, then we don't need anybody. And what we know is, not only can we get you elected, we can get you unelected if you're not doing the right thing. Now, the reason, the reason why this whole plan that we're doing makes sense, especially with Do It All, is because to me, all that matters, or what matters the most when you come into the community is that you get the community rich. If people, aren't, if people aren't struggling and worried about what they're going to do and how to live, they will not be fighting each other. There's peace when people are full. So if you come with a plan to get the neighborhood full, then that's the person that we're going to support. And we're not going to complain about what they do. We're going to fix things ourselves. The problem is we live in a world where we rent everything and the other culture is the landlord. We got to own. They could come through, but we got to be the landlords. We got to sit in the owner's boxes. They're not going to give us that. And that's the only way we can take them is if we stick together. We're all strong. We are all financially stable. That's the reason why we have enough so that we can help others because we know how we help ourselves. It's called the circle of success. If everybody's rich and one of us gets hurt, a little from me won't hurt me and a little from everybody else won't hurt and then he's back or she's back full. And everybody's always sustains. It's like a credit line if all your friends stick together. So right now, we have a crew, we have a reason and I just wanted to see if this works. You know, I trust do it all. I know what he does when no one's looking and the conversations we have. I know what he's doing when the cameras are not on. I'm mad at him because he doesn't keep the cameras on. But what they don't keep the cameras on is us sticking together, us helping ourselves. But now that we have a network, now that we have cameras, and now that we have an army full of generals, there's no reason to have to ask. So that was my thing. So I'm going to donate a thousand to give him a thousand right now. I don't know how to do it, but the thing, and that's just what I'm doing. And, 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 you know, if you need two, I got it as well. It won't hurt. But I'm going to send them a thousand of them. <laughs> but that's what I just wanted to say. Since you said that, I see donations coming in, man. We're about 
I don't have to give up. I don't have to give up. It's about 5,800 right now, dang. 5,800? We only been on for five minutes. We only been on for five minutes. See, that's that's power. Wait, if I figure out how to do it, call that 6,800. Can I send, how do I send the G? Hey, man, you, you, hey, tell my sister I said what up to what up, bro. Oh, yeah, she's over there with the baby. It's just a bunch. She just looks like that. And then also another thing is I want everyone to know that the only reason why I'm making paid in full in Newark is because of Do It All. Do It All made that happen. So you got a lot going on and a lot of plans. And I'm not going to hog it up with the plans we have. I don't know if we can show them all. But trust me, everybody's going to eat. I promise. It's about, it's about owning those bricks in the brick city. Trust me. Well, I, I got, I got, I like to tell the plans. I got the roadmap, but I'm gonna let y'all rock. I'm not gonna take over, but I love what's going on. This is black power for real. Black love is black power. Friends that stick together. All we need is us. Trust me. But I, I'm gonna let y'all do it. Go ahead. Can you figure out hey, how to, man, I can just, say, to, um, send them a thousand dollars? Just to let you know, yeah, yeah man, on the Zoom. Um, this is, this is history in the making, man, and I've got the I'm check. excited. You know, I, I come from North New Jersey, and I, and I come from those number blocks that I get the opportunity now to represent, man, so this is very exciting, man. I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to put it up in the chat again. Do is the, the, the easy way to donate is to text to donate. All you gotta do is just text Kelly to this number. Just like you text any number, put the number in your text. But, text but, Kelly. Let me let me follow the instructions from there. Whatever you want to donate, put it there, and it's gonna walk you wherever. Let me let me do this because I like to celebrate our excellence. Yo, there's so many people on the line that I'm seeing that's fighting for us, right? So I see it, I see I see it Akbar. This is a this is a fundraiser. Oh I'm on I'm on. So this is not a uh, get your ticket free walk in. Hey hey, real quick. I wanted to showcase how dope Newark is, right? So we got Dennis McKeezy and the OSG in the building, big part of the commission, and I think we all know what the commission is. It's all of us as a crew sticking together and being specialists and everything. One of the highlights to me right now that I always talk about is a a Akbar out of Newark. So, a a a can you get on and tell them what you've been doing so they can tell? And, and then also, I was just curious to know because there's so many educators on the phone. What you what we doing for the education? What they want? What they want you to do? Because you, you gonna do it. So, a can you please just tell everybody? I know everybody know, but just start. We family. There's no political talk here. We just let's just talk.
You got hot sauce. I just got a, a, a bee. The bees are coming. I got some chicken for the organic eggs. So it's like, yo, yo, it's crazy. But I'm so happy that the kids are getting money. Now they're able to make residual income while they're in school working on a school degree at West Side. So, yeah, that's what I got. Oh, that's big, man. But yeah, man, that's what we call education. Talk about the, talk about the, the bank in the school, though. You know, because we talk, like, as, you know, as OSG and as the commission, but then we talk about. Finance, you know, that's one thing Dave's always been on, man, since we've been teenagers back in the day, you know, about making, making your homies rich, making the people around you money, you know, uh, money literate, you know, financial literacy, and you got a bank in your school, bro, tell us about it, though. Yeah, man, so we got the only Capital One branch that's student ran in the whole state of New Jersey. My kids make $16 an hour running it, so they shoot me here, dude. They, they, they go out and uh, they, they interview, and then they get to work in the summer at the different branches. And they see a year, they get to open up and teach kids financial literacy. Every kid in my building can open up an account for one dollar. Capital One will match up to fifty. And my kids, my kids teach them financial literacy. So only one of the state of New Jersey, Capital One, big ups to them. I got a couple more deals on the way. So we got Dave Dash Studios loaded right now. We got my aunt. I just received three hundred thousand dollars to finish my kitchen. I got a salon coming into school. CVS, and they put the new CVS in there. Not to, not to have the kids work, but to show the kids how to run their own CVS. They got me out of the bed. I got that to show them. So literally, my first one will look like a mall. My kids will be working, making all that money. And like I said, with them, they're reinvesting themselves. We all become young CEOs and entrepreneurs. So, so yeah, man, that's all to go for the school and all that happened. But what you what, what you think it would look like if Ock was the president of the United States? You know, and, and 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 that's the whole purpose is to show the kind of power that when you get in power, these are the things that you do. If we got the rock, that's how we score. If we the landlords, if we the principals, if we're the city councilmen, then we're the ones that can make the laws and do what we need to do that help us. The language we need to speak so we can understand. Another person that's a part of the commission is Senator Randy Milton, and he's fighting the same exact fight. And that's why we all linked up like superheroes, and we all have the same agendas. Get our neighborhoods rich. Get our neighborhoods empowered. So Eddie, if you could, could you say something and, and, and just talk about what you got going on? And again, I just like showcasing our power. You know, I want them to see what it looked like when we stick together, because they will not show it. They will not show it. And then we try to divide us, but they can't, because we're too smart. Period. We know what it means when we put our bunny together. We can come up fun. We can buy anything together. I promise you that. But anyway, are you there, um, Senator? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's up, do it all? Peace, peace. What up, Senator? How you doing? I'm good, man. I'm good, man. I'm happy to be here. How are you bro? No, no. I got to support you. I want to say what's up to the entire family, man. Shout out to the family. Everybody, man. Dame and I were talking one day, and I said, Dame, we got to check in with Do It All. We got to show him that we're behind him. There's too many people across the entire country that believe in this man, and we got to show him. And as somebody that's in public office, I, I hate campaigning. I'm going to be honest with you. Do It All. I know you're from Beach, man. I hate campaigning. But in order to get your message out, you gotta have that bread. You gotta have that. That's just the way the beast is. You gotta do it. You gotta fund uh, the commercials. You gotta get on the ground. You gotta pay people to pass out your literature. All of that, the, the foot team, all of that takes resources. And so, with the, the thousands of people that were on our network, it's, it's extremely important that we direct them to the people that we support that believe in the same type of philosophies or, uh, or ideals be it in education, economic development, health and wellness, you name it. We got to get good, good people in office. That's why I put our candidates in a better position. That's why, you know, it's just an honor to be here. I know uh, Congressman Carson, I know all of you will be showing up today, but I know he, he's showing his support as well. Shout out to Congressman. Also, uh, Congressman um, Donald Payne said he's going to jump on as well. On this, what's up? So, when I look at 
And that's, that's, what, that's, that's what it looks like when you use your resources, not even with the bread, but with the knowledge. And with that said, Dennis, the head of OSG, please, let us know everything you got going on. Flex on it. Look how, look how tired this man. He in school. He's either principal, retired principal, still goes to school.
I just want to take a second to celebrate, right? Because this to me is a dream. You know, having an army of generals that have armies, all like-minded, all want to help each other. I've been looking for this my whole life, you know? And we've had men talking and, you know, we're showcasing that we stick together, but we're nothing without the black women and the women of color. And there's some strong ones on here. You know, people that I've had the pleasure of personally being helped by. So I want Dr. Action, Anissa, if she could, we want to see you. But this is a black doctor, principal, good dancer, fly. We, and, these, and, and this is what our circle looks like. This is what our politics look like. No politics. Love politics. But I wanted to showcase some of the backbone of who we are and why we cannot be played with at all. Yes, you know, you're taking this journey. I know it's not easy, but you know, some of us have to be out in front and thank you for being the one to step out in front and put your life and your dreams and your heart and soul on the line for the betterment of our community, our culture, our children, our family. Um, so congratulations on it. Um, especially in the city of Newark, which has gotten such a bad rap, but we know that um, there is good in Newark. You know, somebody might say, what, what can come out of Newark? Well, we have a whole bunch of good things that come out of Newark. And, um, you know, so just keep doing what you're doing. So thank you so much. And as um, Dave said, I'm a principal um, in the city for elementary school. Um, Dennis is my coach, so as Dennis said, you know, the same way in which we were able to help Senator Evan Felton and Gabby yeah. together, we're here to help you as well in the work. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you so much. And everybody, too, I, I, you know, I see that we have about 18, well, 17, because I'm one of the 18 that's on the call. I want to thank everybody that's donated so far. We up to about 6,800. So that means that uh, some of us are just watching and not, not donating. How do and, I, and it's cool. You, you know, uh, if, if you that can't donate, this might not be the call. You know? Well, uh, well, here's the thing. You know, everyone out here, we're generals. We all have the ability to help ourselves. It won't hurt to help. And understanding that anybody that needs it can do the same kind of thing. When we get together, it's again, and I ain't asking, I'm like, yo, are we rolling together? Are we rocking or are we not? You know? Are we really going to walk that walk? It's not about us bringing awareness and us asking for help and us asking to fit in. It's about us financially being able to say, we don't need you. We could do this ourselves. And we got to flex that power so they know. And what's the benefit of having one of us in there? You know, pause. They're going to be able to deal with every agenda that we fight for. So education, we know that if he's not doing right by education, he got to talk to the OSG. We already know that if we're not doing right by prison reform, he's going to talk to a congressman, he's going to talk to a senator, a senator and he got to talk to the people. Because he talks to the people, he's out there. We know that unrecognized trauma of just being black, of being number two, having an ass, having a rent, having a fight for blocks you don't own. You know, just having to look at them as they the owners and they the boss. We know that will be taken care of. We know that we will know where and how to buy and when to buy and how to spend money to make sure when we buy the right people live there. And it's not saying no one's trying to exclude a race. It's just that we got to be the landlords. We got to be the landlords, and we got to put up the bread. We can't sit around and keep complaining. When we have enough power to do this ourselves, we have financial economics here. I got plans for us as we help each other to make each other rich. It's a circle of success. And we have to flex that power. They got to know that he don't need nobody because he got a family. You know, if somebody in my crew has to go to another crew for help, that's embarrassing to my crew. I thought y'all was getting money. You gotta get money from us? That's what, it can't look like that. We can't look strong and we can't buy them. So one person, it might hurt, but all together, pause. It don't hurt 
So I'm trying to figure out a donate. How do I donate? Do it all. So you just it's a text to donate, right? So text to donate. I'm gonna put it on the screen. It's in the chat right now. So Nicolette, yeah. can you text yeah. so I can donate? Yeah. So I, I want that number to be better. Yeah, I'm about to do that right now. Send him two. Send him two for me, cause send him two. Send him two grand for me, cause I want that number back. You might as well max out, man. Twenty six hundred to max out. Yeah. That's, that's I, I gotta talk to my wife about that extra six hundred, nah, man. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> How about this? If somebody else maxes out, I'll max out. Oh, that's nice. Somebody max max out. Some max my max out. I got two on it. You know, I'm I'm stunting. But either way, <coughs> 500, and, and, and even whoever's not on here, I would love for everybody in the OSG and everybody that's part of my community. 2000. 2000, yeah. And I'm telling everybody I know, yo, send him 500. Because he's going to help us. Because I got big plans in Newark. I got big plans in Newark. You know, and, 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 and I, I, listen, I'm in, I'm, I'm in business with Do It All. I'm in business with Ock, with the label. I'm in business with the BBS boys, because they making the flyers. They making Harlem cars, they in Newark. Harlem went to Newark, it looked like. But, but hey, Red, can, can you say something? Because you're from Newark, and you're getting money in there. You're chopping and chewing. Please, talk about what you're doing in Newark, and throw something on it. First of all, shout out to my man. Yeah, my brother Dupree out there doing his thing. I'm a new brother myself, born and raised in Newark. And what we are doing, BBS boys, we teamed up with Dame Dash, putting together, we've been putting together the Warriors card, you know what I'm saying? Dame Dash been carrying the torch for so long, and we saw us out here grinding, putting together these classic 80s, 90s cars, and he said, well, I know I'm not a part of this. So he reached out to me. You know what I'm saying? I want to be a part of this. You know what I'm saying? I'm Mr. Payton Fool. And he said, that'll be right. So here we is now, within a month. It's been a month. This is like a month and a half. Dave Dash on his third car. About to go on his fourth car. Right. I told you we're going to be addicted. You know what I'm saying? It's all for Payton Fool. I'm buying the cars for Payton Fool. Rock is on. <laughs> Principal Ock, two days later, all over, and now it's all over Fox Soul as well. And, and let's not forget that, that, that this, tele, this revolution is going to be televised. We have a way to showcase everything that we want done and everybody that's not doing it right. And also want to bring up, as a good guy, I know what it is to be a good guy for people to try to paint you out as a bad guy so the bad guys look like good guys. They cheat, they're nerds. They don't give you a fair one. So we all know people are running around ripping down his flyers and doing all that bubblegum It's corny. And we're watching. We all know every single corny move every person that's corny makes because cool people around stick together. So you can't do nothing corny and don't think we don't know about it. But for those people that don't fight fair to win, why would you think they're going to fight fair on your behalf? You can't trust the cheater that cheats to win because then he's always going to do what's in his best interest. A fair fight means everything to me. And I see do it all fighting fair. He's out there, you know, and, and he's working. And again, I want to flex 
And I want to flex some more beautiful black women that are killing it. Jocko, Principal Jocko, you know, again, resource. Anytime I need any help for anything with my children, she's there any time of the day. So I definitely want you, I'd love to hear her commentary. She has the, the ill clubhouse. Her Instagram is popping. So, Jocko, please, let's say something. Jocko? All right, until then, the, the lioness can say sorry, because she roars. Another black principal. Or, there you go. What's happening? Understand that if you ever run for something, if you ever have a business that you want to invest in, you shouldn't have to go to a bank, you shouldn't have to go get a grant. We will do the same for you. This is just do it all time. It's going to be a fundraiser for me one day, maybe soon, very soon. Everybody here should look at it like, yo, you supporting is you going to get support. Just have something for us to support. Test the model. If I, put it like if you put up a G, then somebody, then somebody better put up a G for me, and we always got to do that. It's a fair exchange. But I want, you, but I want you for you are. You are. We want to flex. You, we, we, we the bank. nice when it comes to that. I want us all to stop being so selfless. I want us all to want a fair exchange. You too good for that. You deserve to be supported. And I will be blessed. You, yeah, yeah. We're all, black people been getting blessed. Look how far that get us. I'm a, we going to bless us with God. Anyway, we're going to do the right thing regardless. But what I want people to understand is that there is a responsibility for fair exchange, <laughs> period. I'm sick of helping people that don't help back. I'm not doing that no more. I'm only putting people in power that put me in power. I'm with Jermaine, I'm in, I, I mess with Doodle because every time I see him, he wants to make me more powerful. That's the least I can do for him. And that's the least I can do for you and you should expect it from your brother. We have to expect our support from each other. We owe it to each other. I don't want to be nice no more. I want us to know what we got to do. Our job is to support each other. 
Period. If we got it, we don't have to complain. We do too much licking our wounds. And if we stick together, the blessings are great. We have good family. We love. But the only way to help is to be able to be financially able to help. You can't do nothing if you got to ask. You can't ask. We got to go do it all. Got that? I know. I just wanted to shake it up a little. I just wanted to shake it up. I know, I know, I know. I love you. You know I love you. That was my donation. I was just saying I took that right. two thousand. That's all. Go ahead. Max me out. Max me out. Right. Listen. So Exactly. You know what, man? I, I, I want people to understand what Dame is saying, too, man, and, and what Linus is saying, because it's important that we support our own. The money that you guys are uh, giving up, I'm putting up my own money as well. Was it the last time I ran? We were talking about where the toughest campaigns were. I think I was looking at uh, some digest, it was a political digest or something, and they were talking about DC with the federal uh, politics. And I know Senator that he knows some probably knows this. Well, so Chicago was another crazy landscape, but I was surprised to see that Newark was one of the most vicious uh, campaign places, and it was number three, you know, uh, so it was number three on the list, and I didn't realize how how tough campaigns were, you know, I didn't realize it's, it's not an easy thing to, to do, you know, so you're, you're going up not just against your opponent, but you're going up against all the powers that be that support your your opponents. You know, there's there's one side and two sides and three and four sides to everything. So all of those monies are used to put soldiers on the ground because nobody wants to do anything for nothing. You know, all of those all of those monies are to make sure that you have poll workers. You know, you have challengers at those poll workers that your lawyers are there just to make sure that all of those workers. <laughs> That's beautiful. Now that's this, this is fly. This is the this is the illest power. This is a flex. This is proof of concept. What's up, Bishop? Now, now we rolling. Now we rolling. Now we rolling. Now we got the hitter out. Who's bothering you? Who's bothering you do it all? No, who's bothering do it all? That's what we got to know. Whoever's bothering, we call it. Well, well, let me just say, let me just say this. This is how ill do with all this. So I'm like, yo. Oh, okay. 
I don't see you though. I see. Oh. So, do it all. I'm in New York. I got court cases. I'm going to court. I just lost the baby. And I'm like, yo, I'm going to get some rest on, on Sunday. And he's like, yo, I need you to see this, man. And he called me and he made sure. He said, trust me, bro. And I trusted him so much. I said, yo, I trust you so much. I'm coming out there with no security in the Uber to know it. I said, I'm going to come in the Uber with my family. Right? And when I got there, the energy and what I saw was something I never saw before. And I understood the power of love. And I actually seen the, 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 the bishop and his wife and everyone, they felt my pain. Even though I wasn't looking hurt. And they prayed hard for me. And they told me my future. You have a baby next year. And we got you. And we had a baby the next year. You know, and I'm not going to say it's just that. It's just a collective love that I get when I go to Newark. Newark is loyal. The love is real. If there's real love. So, again, I'm celebrating. This is the biggest flex when we stick together. All that, we just raised that money in 30 minutes. It's only 17 people on here. Can you? This is power. Yeah. Oh, then we got. Oh, now we got Dr. Brunel. Now we, now we popping. I thought I'd just sit on TV, CNN. You know. So we got doctors, bishops, senators, congressmen, principals, entrepreneurs, legends. Who's, what crew is better than this? How can we ask? You know, but we have what we've been, what we've always been tricked out of our recognizing our power. The only way to control muscle is to make muscle think muscle is weak. We got to know what our muscle is and how when we stick together, how we look. They got to see what this army and generals look like. It's accountability when you deal with people like us. Because we got the money to take care of ourselves and collectively we can take care of anybody. So do it all is part of this family. I don't care what he was doing. If Eddie calls me, if the lioness calls me, if Dennis calls me and said I need this 100 racks, call a we the commission. And I have a plan to make sure all of us are millionaires. Not just talking about it, millionaires passive income and stuff that we can pass to our children. The same thing they do. They cop together. That's what they do. I watch it. That's all the fun is. A bunch of people with money put their money in one place and spending together. And the good part about it is the places we want to go, we don't want to be with everybody because y'all already own everything over there. We want to go someplace where nobody owns stuff so we can buy it all. Then we bring everybody. And now we the landlords. Now we pass the laws. And now you got to have some sort of accountability when you treat people a certain way. Because you know, they're not giving no first generation a, a loan. We can do that. If you tell me a school don't have no food, we can come together. That school got food. If we need a building built, we come together, a little from each of us, that building is built. We need a school, we need a jail, if we need anything. So this is just the beginning of the flex of power. But we can't just be talking about it, we gotta get some money. But it ain't gonna come to us, we gotta go get it. It's hard to get money on your own. It's way easy to get money as a team. An army of people that want to get money are going to get money. Trust me. And you know what you need? You need people in education because we have to establish education. We need people in politics because we got to pass laws. There's a new world coming. The metaverse, the multiverse. Laws have not been passed there yet. When people pass laws, they make them to last 100 years. A hundred years ago, we were slaves. Those people that passed laws had slaves. The new laws have to come from us. They have to behoove us. They shouldn't be to control us. They should be to free us. 
So at least if we have us there, when we have an agenda, we know we are listening. And, and that's it. It's logical. So I'm not mad. I'm excited. This is energy. This is the army I've been looking for. Smart and financially empowered. And, and, and that care about others before themselves. That the fuel is love. So that's why I don't care. I put them, I know I'm going to get it back because I'm going to come for some at some point. Period. Facts. Facts. That's what we, yo, I, like, once again, man, I just want to thank everybody um, for coming on and everybody that's donated. We're about up to eight grand right now. Hopefully we can at least get over 10 grand before the night is over. You know, um, I really appreciate everybody that's donated thus far, man. Yo, but, but you got to admit, do it all. You got 17 people on the Zoom. You got like 10 rats. That's strong. Yeah. Now imagine, if, and, and it's really literally under our umbrella, uh, at least three or four hundred of us. So can you imagine if it was three or four hundred of us? You, you see this, Senator? I'm sending a thousand in the mail. Do you see this right now? Yes. You see this power? Hey, Jack, are you, hey, Jack, uh, 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 Bishop, your sister don't want to say that? You're on mute, Bishop. You're on mute, you're on mute. Still on mute. Let me take him off mute. He on mute. Can't hear you. 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 Unmute, Bishop. There you go, Dodo. There you go. Y'all can hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hey, look. I heard Senator Eddie say he's sending money in the mail. You know what I'm saying? How you want me to give you your money? Do it all, huh? You want me to roll up on you? Huh? Do all that? You know? How you want me to give you money?
Tax it to me. And I have okay. to do it. Alright? I, I love all of y'all. Love you, Bishop. That's a real bishop right there. Hey, hey, look, man. I'm all the way in, man. I'm all the way in. I'm, I'm, praying, I'm praying for Kanye, man, because I don't want him to be the next OJ, you know? But they, 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 they you know, that whole thing, man. You, when you start messing with a black man's kids and his family, that ain't a good thing, you know? So I'm sitting there all the prayer. That's, that, that, that's any separated, you know, it happens. I, I'm, trust me, I'm, I'm celebrating that I'm not going through that now. You know, and I know I know what kind of toll that takes on a person. You know, your, 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 your child needs to be able to observe you, not just get money from you. He has to look at you. And, and he doesn't learn from a class. He learns from just absorbing what's in front of him. So if he's not absorbing you as a father, he's absorbing something else. And then that might not be the right thing. But that's another thing. We have to put ourselves in positions that we go to work when we feel like it. You know, we shouldn't have to leave our children because we have to survive. And we shouldn't have to send our children someplace around strangers because we have to survive. You know, I've been able to have the luxury of architecting my life where I can stay home a year and a half. I've been with my son every day. It's been, it's, I can't even, I can't even believe how happy this makes me. I, it was a dream and I didn't even know when the dream came true that it would be even better. And I'm like, damn, I'm able to be there with my son, my girl, we're all together 24 hours. He touches both of us at the same time. He doesn't have to deal with people he doesn't know. I don't have to worry. We should all be able to live like that. <laughs> we should all be able to say I'm taking a year and a half off and I wanna live someplace else. We can't be in this pattern of being taught how to live. Like it's not all right to me. And I know how it feels to do it one way, and I know how it feels to do it another. And I see how it affects my children. And I know what makes it to where I can do these things. The residual income. The power of being the boss. The power of not having to ask is a power that you could not imagine. Imagine never having to ask. I don't know what it even feels like to have to ask. That's my life. And that's the life our whole culture should have. Because we, I know I'm the power. I know y'all the power. I know collectively we're the power. And what we ask, we should be able to ask us. It, you know, yeah. We shouldn't have to ask us. It's like, yo, wait, here. You know why? If you gave me, I know I can call you for two grand any second of the day. And I know me. I, I bet it all. I might need that. So it, it's in my best interest to keep you strong just in case I ever become weak. Because I know I have your support. I know Dennis, if I was like, yo, man, they just reached out to the car. I know Dennis would send me a car. I know Ak would send me a car. I know Jacko would make sure I got food. I know uh, a, a, a do it all would make sure I had a place to live. I know I'm okay. If you want another amazing video with the one and only Dame Dash, check it out right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there.